Okay, well, someone asked me maybe a week ago what I think about ISIS. Okay, well, <clears throat> the name ISIS interested me to begin with anyway because it goes back to Egyptian belief. But, uh, you know, in most um, Protestant, Catholic, any kind of church, you're going to see this. Okay. Do you know what this means? No? It means Jesus saves humanity. Okay, let's write that out. Jesus saves humanity. All right. Now, before the Savior came and uh, uh, forgive us of our sins and died on the cross, uh, this is what was believed uh, in, we'll go back, ancient Egypt and practicing Judaism now. Uh, Kabbalah, you ever heard of Kabbalah? Anyway, you'll see this symbol. Alright, this is like 5,000 years old though, okay? And the I is for Isis, and the S is for Set, and the H, the large H, is for... Horus. Okay. Now, I don't want to complicate your faith because, in my opinion, this is your faith here. If you are a Christian, this is what you believe. Jesus saves humanity. Okay? Now, the other thing could be something put out there by the devil that way, much earlier. But the prophecy come true with Jesus Christ or Yeshua. Yes, it's called Yeshua which means the healer, believe it or not, in Hebrew. Um, something you did not know is that um, in the Muslim religion, they believe Jesus was the second greatest prophet behind Muhammad. So, they acknowledge Jesus, yes? Okay. Um, Horus was born of a virgin, Isis. Jesus was born of a virgin, Miriam or Mary. Um... Both men were baptized. Anup uh, baptized uh, Horus, and John the Baptist baptized Jesus. Both the baptizers were beheaded. John the Baptist and Anup. All right. Um, this may be too deep for you that way, but this is a conflict that is prophesied this way as well. You read Revelations, some chapters in the book of Daniel, and uh, we are living in the end of days, but that doesn't mean we must leave tomorrow just a bad tomorrow for our children. You know, the difference is the fanatic Muslim is so willing to die for their cause and uh, the extremists that way but uh, the Christian uh, not so much I think now would I go proudly and die for my God yes I would uh, but the fact that they use Isis as their name over there and they're beheading people and doing these things you know if you believe that Jesus will save humanity, you're on the right team. You know, that's what you should believe. This Isis, Seth, and Horus. Horus, you see with the, you know, the eye. Look at the back of your dollar bill, folks. Look at that. Not Novus Ordo Seclorum. New order for the ages. You know, the... The foundations of Masonic teachings that way uh, are not necessarily Christian. They go all the way back to to Egypt that way. So, you know, this may offend some people what I say here, but it's something to look into. You know, get right with your God. You know, 
And he, sa he says in the Bible, do not go to the desert. They will tell you to go to the desert. Do not go to the desert. Where are we now? Where's this problem happening? The Holy Lands, the Middle East, um, you know. I would also suggest uh, uh, the reading list that Ron Paul give to Rudy Giuliani about blowback, about why the people in the Middle East hate us. I mean, this isn't just something recent. This goes back millennium, thousands of years, not a few decades. So, that's what I recommend. So, Isis, uh, if you're watching this, capture me. Come get some, you know? Come. I'm ready. So, don't be afraid of what you see on the news, people. The media has done us a disservice by showing us too much. And I believe also that uh, the media nowadays is not honest enough with the people. You know, you go into a press conference, they're told what they can and cannot ask ahead of time. Where is the real journalism now? You know? So I wonder, you know, with the state of the world and things like this, um, Yes, ISIS mentions President Obama. It doesn't matter who our president is, they're going to mention whoever that is. You can't just blame Obama or Jorge Bush or anybody like that. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a slippery slope, this, this uh, imperialism. You know, we really don't need to be over there and uh, should know better. Yeah, <clears throat> study Israel. Study uh, 1948, what happened there and... Uh, it's a fairly new state, you know, we give back um, to the nation of Israel. Yeah, so much information. But the one thing, Jesus saves humanity. Where's your heart? Who are you working for? You know? Alright. I'm glad you tuned in. I really need to tell some funny stories or something. Um, but uh, you asked me the question, something to think about. You know, this this is something that's, that, that bothers me. I think I could explain it better, but uh, uh, for now, this is a starting point for you. I hope this helps you out. God bless you.